Hi everyone, I just wanted to come in and I wanted to show you how you can access your new resource. So, uh, I am going to begin with Google Slides and then after that I'll jump into Google Forms. Uh, I want to show you how you can share these directly inside of your Google Classroom so your students can see them. So, first of all, we'll start with Google Slides. So, uh, this is my Google Drive account. I have the resource already inside of here. So, you can see right here, this is the Google Slides logo right down here. Uh, so, if I open that up, you should be able to see the entire resource. So, in this situation, I'm showing you a Grammar Bootcamp. Doesn't matter what Google Slides presentation you're looking at, but I'm just going to open it up, make sure it's what I want, and we're good to go. So. Uh, it is very important that you open it up the first time, okay? So when you actually first put it inside of your uh, Google Drive, you do want to make sure you open it one time. You can close it right away. Now I'm going to go over to Google Classroom. I have a test class set up in here, but you should already have your Google Classroom set up. Uh, so I'm going to click inside of the class. I'm going to go to Classwork. After that, I click Create. You have a few different options here. You could do assignment, you could do uh, a question, material. Uh, I, for right now, I'm going to uh, go ahead and click on assignment. You would type in the title of your uh, the, uh, the assignment that you're posting. Uh, you could put instructions in as well. You definitely don't have to do that, but uh, if you want to give kids just a little bit more information, you could go ahead and put in instructions. Over on the right-hand side, you could do points. If you want it ungraded, you could click that as well. You could choose a due date. You could choose a topic. The topics, uh, this would nest things easily for kids to find uh, under those topics. So, for example, right here, I'm going to go ahead and say, uh, I guess we'll put reading and writing together. Uh, so we'll do reading, writing. Uh, so this, uh, it's assignment that I'm putting inside of here is going to be nested underneath uh, the topic of reading and writing and I'll show you what that looks like in just a couple of seconds. Now because that was already stored, the uh, the file was already stored inside of our Google Drive, I'm going to click on Add and then I'm going to click on Google Drive. Once I click on Google Drive, you'll notice right here that we have uh, Grammar Bootcamp. Now because that was the last thing that I opened inside of my drive, that's why it's showing up in the very top here. So that's why I did tell you it is important that you at least open it so uh, so you will be able to easily access it when you come inside of Google Classroom. I click on here and it adds it to this assignment. Notice right over here it says students can view file. There's two other options there. So students can view file if you're just sharing something and you want the kids to look at it, great, but they're not going to be able to do anything to it. Students can edit file. That means they're going to be able to edit your original file, which odds are you probably don't want them to do. Okay, There may be some circumstances where that happens, but Odds are, for most of the things that you're assigning to students, you don't want them to edit your original. And the third and final option there, it says make a copy for each student. If I click on that, and nine times out of ten, this is probably what you're going to do, uh, this is going to make a, a copy of this assignment for every single kid inside of your class. Okay? So I'm going to go up and I'm going to click on Assign. It typically takes a couple of seconds to assign that, and it will go right back to my Google Classroom page. Uh, and we should see that happening any second now. Um, there we go. Perfect. All right. So now, like we were talking about here, so all of these up here, all of these assignments that I've created, all of these are, uh, they don't have a topic attached to them. Now, the Grammar Bootcamp, which we just did, I put it under the topic of reading writing. So you can see that Grammar Bootcamp is now underneath here. If I click here, it will show how many students have uh, turned it in and how many students it has been assigned to. I don't have any students in this test class, but if you had 20 kids in your class, when you initially do it, it would show assign 20, and as kids finish it, they would turn it in and they would go over to this turned in section. Okay. The other wonderful thing here, if I go ahead and I click on view assignment, I can open this up and every single one of your students work would be showing up here. So I would be able to go ahead and click on one of the kids uh, assignments, you would be able to go inside of it, give them feedback, give them comments, uh, and, uh, and that way it's um, Google Classroom is, is really wonderful because you're giving that feedback uh, immediately. Okay, so I hope that's uh, I hope that's helpful for Google Slides. Now let me go ahead and I'm going to show you how you would assign a Google Form. Uh, so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open up a Google Form uh, the same way that we did the Google uh, Google Slides document. I'm going to go ahead and uh, this is a pretest for Grammar Bootcamp. 
So you would probably actually want to assign this before uh, you assign uh, before you assign the actual pack of materials. All right. So now that it's open, I can close it right back up. I'm going to go back over to my classes. I'm going to go in that class, go into classwork. I could do create. Again, you could do assignment. You don't need to do a quiz assignment unless you're starting a brand new quiz. So if you already have one created inside of Google Forms, you can just do assignment. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to click on add Google Drive. And you will see here that my Grammar Bootcamp is uh, right here. That Google Form is right here. So I'm going to go ahead and click on that. And notice it does say grade importing. So you can turn that on or off. So when you attach, when you attach a Google Form here, it is going to give you the option to automatically have this be self-graded and then for uh, for those grades to import inside of Google uh, Google Classroom. You don't need to keep that on. If you're not keeping grades inside of Google Classroom, you don't need to do that, but you can turn that on and off with the toggle switch there, okay? Again, you could do the points, you could do the due date, you could do the topic, uh, and put all of those pieces in. Now, something else that's important to note here, right up in the top corner, it says four and class. If you have more than one class that you want to assign this to, you could click all of the classes that you want this to go to. So it's saving you just a bit of work, right? Uh, and then you would also be able to click the students that you want this to go to. So if you're just developing a test or an assessment uh, or, or going back to Google Slides, if you're just assigning something to a specific group of kids in your class, you could go ahead and you could only select the kids here that you want this to go to. It would only show up to those kids inside of their Google Classroom. The rest of the kids would not be able to see that. So for differentiation purposes, that is absolutely, uh, that's, that's a really great feature of Google Classroom, okay? And then obviously I would go ahead and assign. Next to assign up here, you can see that there's a little drop down menu. You can do uh, assign, schedule, or save it as a draft. So if you don't want to quite, if you're not ready to post it yet, you could do save draft. If you want to schedule this for a different day so it's not being assigned right away, you could do that as well. Okay? So I hope that's, uh, I hope that's helpful. That is a, just a very quick overview of Google Classroom and then how to uh, share resources uh, from either Google Slides or share resources uh, like a Google Form inside of Google, uh, Google Classroom. So I hope that's helpful. If you have any questions, let us know. Thanks.